It's pretty easy to have a focused mind when you're on a mountain bike or climbing on the side of a rock, but how do you slow down your mind when you're just going through regular daily activity? For me, the most important thing in life is the relationship between myself, God, and the universe. When that relationship is healthy, everything else falls into place. Steve Sadler is an author and spiritual teacher in Laguna Beach, California. And Steve is kind of like a relationship counselor. He understands the rhythms and laws of the universe. For a few pointers on how to get into a meditative, connected state, we touch base with Steve down on the beach in Laguna. What a beautiful universe we live in. Is everything really interconnected? Well, where isn't it? I mean, if you look at, the, is there anything in existence that doesn't depend on other things in existence? You look at atoms, you look at molecules, you look at cells, you look at planets with suns and suns with galaxies. We all kind of have an interdependency on every other part of existence. So we're not separate from God ever. One of my favorite movies is the movie Star Wars. Right. And it's the Force. It is the Force. But Force is creation, really, if you think about it. Yeah. And just like they say there's a metachlorian count, an innate intelligence within us, well, there is an innate intelligence, and that's exactly who you are. But most people don't know who they are. So that's, that's what brought us together, is this inquiry into the nature of who we really are, because that's where you're going to ultimately find happiness and peace. Because from there, you see what you're here to do. And as you start fulfilling that inner drive, you start feeling more fulfilled and happy in life. And so if you had to boil it down to one sound bite, what is the purpose of life? Find yourself and to fulfill your life purpose. We're all here to make a better world, just like you want to make a better world for your children. We all look at the world and its suffering and wish there weren't wars, there'd be more peace. First, we need to find peace in our own world, in ourself, in our head, because the kingdom of heaven lies within. Once you step out, and that's the beauty of meditating, when you step out of your mind for a little bit, and we all can if we learn how, there's peace. It's that simple. In my search for a guru, I wondered whether Steve might be mine. The teacher is really just there to help you see something in yourself that you may not be seeing. It's a reflection back to you, because the true teacher is within you, isn't it? In between activities down in Laguna Beach, I managed to squeeze in a trail run, perfect way to switch up a boring workout routine. Once again, stay off the treadmill and just head for the closest trail. It really keeps you alert, you know, in that reactive state. And if you're lucky, you might even find a cool tree to climb. Well, no matter where you are in the world, one of the best things you can ever do is get outside and climb a tree. It's one of those things that takes you back to your youth. We used to do it as kids, but why do we ever stop? If I go to the park by myself and climb a tree, I could get arrested, but that's half the fun. As we're cruising around the world, we're always looking for the off the beaten path, little nooks that have the best tasty local little grub. Rumor has it, Taco Loco here in Laguna Beach has the tastiest fish tacos around. We're gonna find out right about now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mountain biking is definitely an intense full body workout and the great thing about it is that you don't even realize you're exercising until you're done. If you've ever thought about mountain biking but didn't know where to start, just go to your local bike shop. We went to pro rider John Cordoba at Rock and Road Cyclery near Laguna Beach, which is one of the best spots in Southern California to ride, and he hooked us up with some bikes, some gear, and a little bit of trail expertise. Control slides because that's the only way to get down the trails. They're gonna control lock slide. up the brakes. Yeah, and pray and pray <laughs> that you're gonna not hit the trees. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I love trees, but <laughs> not that much. John knows these trails better than anyone around here. So we're gonna go out and hit the trail on some of these sweet specialized bikes and see if we can hurt ourselves. <laughs> then we rolled up to the top of the world, the highest point in Laguna Beach, where the trails split off on different routes down to the canyon bottoms below. In my own little experiment with the Law of Attraction, I had started thinking a few days before about a guy named Hans No Way Ray, one of the best mountain bikers of all time. Never called him and didn't plan anything. But for some reason, it didn't surprise me when he pedaled up to the trailhead. I was like, no way. 
Hans, what are you doing up here? It's my backyard, you know? I ride here. What is it about mountain biking that uh, makes you feel good? Well, it's, it's, it's such an individual sport. You can interpret it or you can exercise it the way you want. You know, some people are into the endurance aspect. They want to just get a workout. Others, they try to get a bit crazy and do it more like the free riding, extreme stuff, you know? And, and I like it all, you know? And, and that's what I've been doing in recent years with my adventures I'm doing. You know, I combine my extreme biking skills with different cultures and we're usually in search of something mysterious or a bit crazy or historical and um, travel the world having fun. That sounds like a great idea. Very cool. And obviously you're passionate about it. And isn't that one of the keys to life? I mean, haven't you found that if you stick to what you're passionate about, things just kind of work? You know, you got to live your dreams sometimes. Follow your intuition and your dreams and try to make them work. And, and you know, it worked in my case to be able to travel the world and actually do my hobby as a job, you know. It's fun to be out here and you can, within minutes, you can be away in the nature and you don't see any houses and you you see all kinds of animals from snakes to tarantulas to... Have you ever seen any bobcats out here or anything like that? I've seen a mountain lion a mountain out lion. here, you know, and the ranger probably wouldn't believe me and says I saw something else, but... There's a mountain lion. I know cats and yeah. I've seen them actually three times. I think you are a cat. <laughs> Maybe in a previous life I've seen you hop around on some of those rocks, it blows me away. Cat with a hat on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to keep up with Hans, but we found it's pretty tough to track a wild cat. Mountain biking, especially downhill, is a constant reaction to oncoming terrain which requires intense focus, and where thinking too much can break your collarbone. After the ride, I had to show Hans my pogo stick and see if he could make it sing like he does his bikes. So what did we learn from Hans today? Stick with what you're passionate about and no one gets hurt. <laughs> when we come back, I scale some sketchy five nines and expose myself out on the rocks in Joshua Tree National Park. Then, it's off to Oceanside to watch the sun go down while taking some surfing lessons from the Wahine. Stay with us and always remember, keep the shower curtain on the inside of the tub. <laughs>